So my life's been a little messy recently, and so has my room. In today's video, I'm going to be getting my life together for the month of November. I can't believe it's November. It's almost Thanksgiving, it's almost Christmas. Oh my gosh. We need to get ourselves together before the end of the year. I need to clean my room, and I also need to run some errands. I just need to make sure that my life is in place for this new month. If you need some motivation to get your life together for this new month, keep watching this video and give it a thumbs up if you're excited for Christmas. So I don't know if anyone else experiences this. If you have a bunny, let me know in the comment section below because literally Milo has been non-stop chewing his rug. He's been non-stop chewing his rug, like legit he's made holes. It's not like he eats the rug, he literally shreds it to pieces and he just leaves it there. I don't know why he does that. I would understand if he's bored, but I do provide some stuff for him. I gave him this little seagrass mat and he's been like chewing at it. I gave him some toys, like some wooden toys to chew at, like some like little apple branches. I have a little tunnel for him. So I don't really know why he's been chewing at the rug, but it's gotten quite annoying. If anyone has like any tips on how to stop your rabbit from chewing through his rug, um, let me know because this one over here Yeah, can you tell me why you've been doing this? Do you, do you want to explain look at this look at this Milo And he just runs in there hello hello I'm talking to you sir Alright guys, I have so many errands to run. I have like literally so many returns. I have to go to the post office. But yeah, I have to return a bunch of stuff. And I'm like not looking forward to it. These are literally all the packages I have to return.
they don't have his hay. You've got to be kidding me. This is why I only shop at PetSmart. Oh my goodness. You're joking. Hi. Oh, you're so old. Oh, come on. Look at him. He's out. He's That's like me at night. He's dead. Yo, he slumped. Alright, we're gonna try this and see. Hi! <laughs> it just tastes like iced coffee. <laughs> Birthday cake pop! Yeah, it just tastes like straight up coffee. So, I am going to be showing you guys a little planner that I got and what I'm gonna be doing in this planner. I'm gonna open her up. I used to never be like really heavy on like getting planners because I felt like I never ended up using them. But I feel like I'm in that time of my life where I really need to get a planner and start to plan everything out because I feel like when I don't do that, it kind of gives me an excuse of like procrastinating. So here's my planner. I got this from Amazon. It's so cute. It's pink and it says 2024 because obviously it's about to be 2024 in like literally two months like that's crazy so anyway we start off <gasps> guys i didn't realize that this was actually like a 20 like there's some cat there's some planners that say 2023 to 2024 and i totally did not realize that this says 2024 on it because it literally starts in january of 2024. okay so i guess i won't be using this today <laughs> well that feels really dumb what am i supposed to do okay you know what though you guys i'm going to check out this website that i've heard some people talk about i think it's called notion and i'm going to check that out and see low-key i feel like you know if i don't have a planner i think i'm gonna try out notion and see if i can just write down everything on here instead I was able to figure it out and I made a little to-do list I made a little to-do list with all the things that I have coming up that I need to get done and I think that just having kind of like a visual thing where you can see all of the things that you need to get done whether they're small or big I feel like that really helps to kind of keep everything in visual sight and not just keep it all up in your head and then you forget which is something that tends to happen to me. With the month of November now here, it's literally November 4th and I'm posting this tomorrow. So if you're watching this, hello from my past self from yesterday, literally not too long ago. Starting November, I didn't have the most positive mindset. Like I kind of feel like I've been a little on the downside and I've kind of been stuck in a funk not gonna lie i've been like in this slump and even throughout this whole entire video i feel like i haven't really been able to pull myself out of that slump i just want to say that that's completely okay i feel like i've been taking small steps even if you're not making the most drastic change i feel like if you start off small it's all that matters as long as you're trying to change and that's what i feel like i've been trying to do this whole entire week of just getting myself together for this video and kind of resetting myself for this new month. I haven't made the most drastic changes and I feel like I've been a little down on myself and I've been really hard on myself about that. But something that I've learned and something that I feel like God has been telling me is to just 
take it one day at a time and step by step you don't have to leap to try to make like a drastic change in your life you make progress even if it's small progress that's what i've been trying to do but honestly i do want to get myself out of the slump that i've fallen into i haven't been to the gym in i think like six months i don't know last time i went to the gym was back in march before i hit a roadblock and my mental health went downhill and ever since then i never had the motivation to go back to the gym i kind of found comfort in eating and i know that that's really bad because that's where gluttony can come from and that's a sin i kind of just started eating badly because i found comfort in that type of like food like junk food and stuff like that i really do want to get back into my healthy habits of working out and eating healthy and feeling good and i want to start taking vitamins because throughout these past like six or eight months or however many months it's been since march i wasted like a whole entire half of the year pretty much doing nothing and i want to end it strong even though i didn't necessarily keep it that way throughout the year i did start off strong and i kind of just went downhill mid-year and i feel like i do want to get back on my grind and i feel like because i've been eating so poorly and i haven't been taking care of my health like physically i've been seeing that pay off in the way that my body looks and the way that my skin looks not necessarily super bad because i've been taking care of my skin consistently that's something that that's i think the only thing in my life that has stayed consistent is my skincare which is crazy i don't look as healthy and glowing as i possibly can and i feel like all of that affects the way that you see yourself and the confidence that you get and i really want to get that confidence back so if you've fallen into a slump you're not alone trust me i am currently there right now but i am going to be picking myself back up i am going to be getting myself out of a slump i might make a video on that because i know that i'm not the only one that's going through that right now and i feel like if i make this video i will be helping myself and also helping you guys so let me know down below if you're also struggling because i'm here to tell you that you're not alone i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope that it showed you kind of the reality of me trying to get my life together i hope that you guys were able to see in this video that even though i didn't go to the gym or go food shopping for like the healthiest food or i didn't wake up at 5 a.m to go for a jog or for a hot girl walk i hope that this shows you that even the littlest steps count as progress towards your goals and even though i wasn't able to set any healthy goals and habits since you know i got a 2024 planner <laughs> i still found a way to make sure that i keep myself on track and i think that's all that matters is just making progress even if it's little don't forget to give it a thumbs up please it helps me out a lot and comment down below also i love reading your comments and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you aren't subscribed already i would love to have you part of my channel and i will see you in my next video god bless you god loves you show love bye mm -hmm.